Hello and welcome. Today we'll launch VNS3 into EC2 Classic. Quick note, EC2 Classic is only available on certain AWS accounts and in certain regions. We'll start with EC2. Over on the left, we'll create a new security group. We'll name it Demo Security Group. And make sure to launch it in not in a VPC. Click Add Rule. We'll do TCP port 8000 from my IP so that you can get VNS3 web UI and API access. And next we'll add UDP port 500 from the IP address of your data center based device. So for example, we'll call it 2.3.4.5 slash 32. Click Create. And here you can go back and add more custom inbound rules if needed. Another option for security groups is to create two. So in this example, we'll create one called Demo VNS3 Manager. And it's not in a VPC again. Again, we'll add TCP 8000 from our IP address. And UDP 500 from our data center device. I'm just going to copy the group ID. And then I'm going to edit the inbound rules again. So here I'll add TCP 8000 from within the security group. And additionally, a custom UDP rule of 1194 through 1197 from within that security group. Click Save. And then we'll create another security group, Demo VNS3 Client. not in a VPC, and by default we won't create any rules. Next, we'll launch an instance. Back on the EC2 dashboard, you can click Launch Instance. Here we can either launch from an AMI, make sure to check the box Shared with Me if you're launching an AMI cohesive network shared with you, or from the AWS Marketplace. We'll search for VNS3. Today we'll do a VNS3 Net Light Edition. We recommend an M3 medium size or larger. And make sure to enable the launch into EC2 Classic. We'll keep default storage, name it Demo. And then we'll select one of the security groups we just created. So here are TCP rules and security group. Click review and launch. You don't need port 22 access. We'll continue with default storage. Review it. Click launch. Make sure to proceed without a key pair. We'll set this up from the VNS3 controller for your access. And while it's initializing, we can go ahead and create an elastic IP address. Click Allocate New. Make sure to choose Classic. Select the new elastic IP address we just allocated. Click Actions, Associate. We'll paste in the instance ID of our new instance and click Associate. And back on the Instances page, once our instance is up and running, you can copy the public DNS, open a new tab with HTTPS colon slash slash that public DNS colon 8000, proceed through any warnings. And the default username is VNS cubed, and your password for AWS-based 
DNS cube is your instance ID. Paste that in there. 